Now to a story you'll only see on Erie News Now. Tonight, we are showing you the first ever battery diesel hybrid locomotive manufactured in Erie County. And the first of 25 they're building at Wabtec. It's one part of a very good year for the plant. Our Lisa Adams got to see the first hybrid locomotive and other multiple projects underway. And Lisa Wabtec Management says it's really been a productive year for them. Good evening again, Eva and Mike. That's right. We certainly, we recently talked with the union about work that's been calling back union members who were laid off and led to the hiring of 150 more employees, new ones. But today, Wabtec Erie Vice President of Operations, Joe Cavalier, walked us through the plant to see that work in action. And he says their success in 2022 has been all about collaboration and flexibility. We've heard about the order for 25 hybrid locomotives for New York City Transit Authority and 100 Evolution Series for Egypt. But now we can show you those orders and a diverse mix of work in process at Wabtec. Everything from North American freight locomotive teardowns, modernizations, all the way to uh, transit passenger locomotives. We have two different requisitions going on those. Uh, as well as the, the first New York City coming through and uh, Egyptian locomotives as well, freight locomotives. But the star of the show right now is the hybrid and we were in the right place at the right time to see it. It's a really exciting day here at Wabtec. The first ever diesel battery hybrid locomotive came through those doors here to final assembly, was rolled over for some work. It's one of a kind and the first that will be delivered to the New York City Transit Authority. This is where the work happens. This is where the value is created. Uh, why it's so important for us to uh, collaborate well together across all the functions responsible. And, you know, frankly, our ability to be successful is going to depend on how well we work together, problem solve, and drive to continuously get better. We also had a chance to see the battery bundling and development work going into Wabtec's flex drive full battery locomotives. The first should be delivered to Australian customers next year. Cavalier expects Erie Wabtec to keep delivering in 2023 because of solid collaboration and flexibility. People be having the ability to do one, two, three things and jump from one locomotive to another, uh, you know, to deliver for customers and for the business, it, it is a big deal for the Erie site. And if you wondered about that hybrid, it pulls uh, work trains through the New York City transit system underground. And so as a hybrid, it's going to save on fuel. It's also going to make the air quality much better when it's underground uh, using battery power there. And of course, all of this work is going to be continuing into the new year in 2023. And again, any union members laid off during slower times are back and the company has hired about another 150 workers. And they are looking forward to being part of that project Resolve Research Lab, that plan in collabor collaboration with Penn State Barron and the county as well. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.